The Return of Hemp for Victory. Welcome back to the long-awaited return of Good News Next Week. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. We've got that Good News Hemp story plus shutting down pre-crime in the Big Easy. But first, shadow economy has a positive yet hidden impact on crime. Going against all previous statistics, there was not an increase in crime after the 2008 Great Recession, as has been seen in all the previous tough times. And all the experts are all puzzled. It goes like this. One important part of the economy has been overlooked. It's called the shadow economy. Kind of underground, it goes unreported to the government and isn't factored into the GDP or employment figures. Babysitting, house cleaning, web design, landscaping, and repair work. Those are the kind of the more conventional things, and I bet you out there can come up with probably some better, even more underground kind of jobs. But some research shows in the U.S. alone the shadow economy, and again, they're just talking about those kind of legit babysitting kind of gigs. $2 $2 trillion in size, more than 10% of the United States' gross domestic product GDP. New studies show unemployed individuals chose to enter the shadow economy rather than resort to criminal activity, as has been so common in the past, because those really those opportunities weren't there. The gig economy, they like to call it. We'll include the links to the actual research, but it's paywalled. Revisiting the relationship between the economy and crime, the role of the shadow economy. So that is some good news, and I think in what we're trying to do here, we, we bear that out in a lot of ways. I didn't have to turn to a life of crime. Our second story this week, we head down to, speaking of crime, we head down to New Orleans. Good news coming out of New Orleans. They've uncovered a secret predictive policing program that had been going on for six years by the New Orleans Police Department in cooperation with the CIA-connected Palantir. See previous episodes of New World next week to learn about Palantir. It was all designed to operate behind the cover of of a philanthropic partnership. You know how those NGOs and think tanks and all those places kind of go. You know who orchestrated it? The fake left's political operative, James Carville. Famous of, of course, the Clinton crime family. If you haven't watched the film from the Clinton 92 campaign, go check out a documentary called The War Room. New Orleans Mayor Mitch Landrews' press office told the Times-Picayune that his office would not renew its pro bono contract with Palantir, which has already been extended three times since 2012. This cancellation, the note from the mayor's office, was the first time they ever mentioned anything about the CIA-connected Palantir's work with the New Orleans cops. A little bit of extra um, icing on the gravy is there could be legal repercussions for those involved in cases that stemmed from the secret data collection there. Our third and final story this week on a quickie Good News Next Week episode. It is episode number 64, and I'm glad to have you back here. And this is probably our most recent kind of hot off the presses story on June 29th. That's just a couple of days ago as I come to you now. The U.S. Senate approved a bill to legalize industrial hemp, the crop that's been banned for decades and decades and decades. Back in April... The two Republican senators from Kentucky, Mitch and Rand, hooked up with the two Democrat senators from Oregon, Ron and Jeff, and they submitted a separate bill to legalize hemp, and those provisions have all basically been incorporated into a broader farm bill. Of course, that is classic politicians' moves, is stuffing things inside of other bills, but in this case, I suppose we'll take it. The bill must still be approved by the House, but McConnell said he's going to pimp for it pretty heavily. A list of concerns from the White House report did not include any objections to the hemp legalization part, meaning that if the bill makes it through the House, it is likely America's next top president will sign it into law. A little background, some states, of course, have already passed legislation in recent years, not the least of which my home state of West Virginia. That's a previous Good News Next Week cover story, legalizing industrial hemp in West Virginia. But the list of the kind of latest legislation would make it, would make it national policy couple related stories of that we'll include in the show notes. And again, everything we always say and play always included in the show notes. Texas GOP endorses marijuana decriminalization. And of course, our neighbors to the north, Canada's House of Commons votes to legalize recreational cannabis. I believe theirs kicks in on October 17th. That Texas and Canada story, both of which we talked about recently on Your Morning Monarchy. Your Morning Monarchy broadcasts live at mediamonarchy.com slash listen Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific time. 
So that is the long-awaited return of good news next week. We've got hopefully a good editor that can make things pretty good and not flip me upside down or things and take revenge on me. Huge thanks to Matt for taking this on so that we can make more regular ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories. I'd be lying if I said I didn't get emails from people going, man, where's the good news? That's the positive shit that we need to kind of keep us going. It can't be so dour all the time. And they're exactly right. You can submit stories of ways that we are winning using hashtag good news next week on the tweets. That's kind of the best way to get me. Of course, you can always email james at mediamonarchy.com or better yet, my friends, join the Media Monarchy community via patreon.com slash mediamonarchy. So I do stream in addition to your morning monarchy. I also do a daily DJ set. I basically stream news, music, memes, and more Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Pacific time at mediamonarchy.com slash listen. So there you have it. The return of Hemp for Victory and the return of good Good news next week, episode 64. Huge thanks for watching. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com reminding you, as always, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.